Hey everyone, Bonnie here, and today we're going to talk about lesson four in the Inner Temple of Witchcraft by Christopher Penchak. Um, so I'm still doing it. <laughs> it's just taking me some time because we've been really busy here. Um, anyway, so lesson four is the science of magic, and it goes into the seven hermetic principles, which is gender, polarity, vibration, correspondence, rhythm, mentalism, and cause and effect. So you work each exercise is each principle. So there's like seven, seven or eight exercises um, to help you kind of understand each principle. One thing that I really like, this was published before we had the term um, spectrum describe gender and sexuality. Um, so it still has those polar opposites, but he does make it a point that there are no absolutes. One example that, um, he used, he used like with a chalk, um, like a chalk is hard compared to a sponge, but steel is harder than chalk. So chalk could be both soft and hard, depending on what it's being compared to. So it's, he does mention that there's no absolutes. He doesn't mention spectrum because at this time we weren't using that word, but he does make it a point, And I really appreciated that because even when he's talking about gender, he says there's no absolutes. Um, if we had absolutes, we would just be the most ugliest stereotype ever. And everyone has a balance of both within. So um, we had to do some different exercises for like correspondences, trying to get from inside, like visualize the egg and the, inside the womb and inside the yolk, inside the cell and how we all correspond with one another. And then with vibration, with vibration, it was more statements like I wish to vibrate in harmony with prosperity or in harmony with uh, wellness. It's something just to kind of focus on when using vibration. And then with polarity, he used the example of earth and sky. So we we feel the diff and the sun and moon and we feel the differences between daytime and nighttime and moonlight and sunlight. And um, he also goes on to mention that there are other magical laws, not just the seven hermetic principle. So there's also the magical laws of synchronicity, association, triplicity, and symbolism. And um, can I help you? Please ignore the man behind the curtain. Anyway, so and they, they all kind of go together with the hermetic principles it's not just one fighting for another one they kind of blend in like in triplicity is the middle the psychic the divine earth <laughs> mind body spirit so it's it's kind of like mother maiden crone father son sage that sort of thing the triplicity and everything and to do everything in threes or like um how if you had bad luck, it always comes in threes kind of thing. Or even the Wiccan rule of uh, uh, what you send out comes back to thee. Never mind the rule of three, what you send out comes back to thee. But um, yeah, it was an interesting, interesting month. It took me a month to get through this. But I did like... That was the thing that I liked was that he he said that there's no absolutes. A lot of people are like, oh well, you have to be this or you have to be all that. You can't be all this. You're all of this, and it's not true. There's a balance within that, within those laws. It 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 blends together, and it works together in harmony. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Um, I'm liking doing this so far. Um, I bought the outer temple of witchcraft to do after I'm done with this one, which is kind of like second intermediate level. Uh, it's really Wiccan based, but it's, that's what I started with. That's what I know the most. So yeah, anyway, sorry for my hair. I took a shower and my hair is really curly, so it's gonna, it's gonna do its own thing. 
anyway, thank you for being here with me, and I hope you have a wonderful gift. A wonderful night or evening or morning whenever you get to see this. Brightest blessings.